Hey, hey, what up, it's your boy Saint, and thanks for being here again on another video, supporting me, watching, liking, subscribing, sending me comments, all of this, right? So today, I wanted to jump on, on a topic that is very close to my heart, something that is amazing, something that is magical, right? I wanted to talk on magic mushrooms. Yeah, a life-changing tool for many, right? Magic Mushrooms is amazing. It's, it's as the name says. That's why I actually don't like when people call it shrooms. Because I like the name. It's Magic Magic Mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> so, Magic Mushrooms can help a lot of people with a lot of... Um, Issues in their life, mental illness, addictions, you know, uh, spiritual awakenings, glimpses into the non duality of the true being that you are, right? So, magic mushrooms is amazing for those things. But I didn't come here to talk about only the goodness of magic mushrooms. I came here to give you guys a warning. For all those new to magic mushrooms, to shrooms, all those who are new to it, I came to give you guys a nice, sweet warning, right? And this warning is, magic mushrooms are dangerous. I know, I'm trying not to make it sound too scary, and I'm trying not to be too... Um, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't want to make it where it is the end of story when I say it's dangerous. I want you to be, I want you to take caution when traveling down the path of psychedelics, of magic mushrooms, of LSD, of all of these DMT, all of these, these psychedelics. I want you to have some sort of caution going down that path because magic mushrooms is amazing but at the same time it can be dangerous right <sighs> you see when taking magic mushrooms it's best to start off with a very very low dose one two it's best to stick with one strain if you're buying it from uh, someone a supplier that is always going to be stocking one strain like that will always have your certain strain. And if they don't have that strain, don't take another strain. All right? This is at the low dose form. All right? The low dose foundational level. So if you're taking it, let me just uh, put this flash on. Strike me in my eyes. Or off, should I say. Oof. I would. I don't know if you guys can see me. Uh, clearly after that, but yo, that shit was in my face. All right, so at a low dose, you want to be taking um, 0.5 gram or a gram, all right? And then you taking a certain strain at one gram, all right? So that certain strain at one gram, whether are you lemon taking it, whether are you just taking it just the way, whether are you making tea with it, whether are uh, you grinding it and putting it into something and having it with you, you're making chocolates out of it with uh, sugar free, of course, because sugar will kill it. So, yeah, when do you drink any of those things and you're taking it in, all right? You've got to know that it's one gram and you've got to know what strain it is, all right? So, that's what you're looking for strain and the, a light amount of grammage. You would rather have your own scale as well. So, as soon as you buy it, take it home, you stain it again, 
and make sure that it's at a gram so you know exactly what you are ingesting, right? Number one. Number two is the strain, right? You've got to make sure that it's the same strain over and over. And why do I say this? Because you want to grow with one strain, right? You want to get one gram, feel how it is. Oh yeah, I could handle that. And then go into one and a half gram, feel how that is. Oh yeah, I can handle that. I want a little bit more. Then go into 1.8. You know, even a small change in the amount that you take will change your trip, right? So you go into one and a, one and eight, and then two, and then you see. That's how you're gonna grow in it, right? So that's how you're gonna grow. And if you're starting off a new strain, you would start back at the bottom again. That's just to be safe, guys, right? To be safe, right? Don't go diving in, hearing about some heroic dose, ego death. Oh my word, I'm gonna go in. Don't fuck with magic mushrooms. I'm being straight with you guys. Don't fuck with magic mushrooms. I'm going to tell you one more time. Don't fuck with magic mushrooms. That shit will fuck you up. That shit will fuck you up so bad. That shit will fuck you up. I'm telling you now. So after that, you had two grams of the same strain that you started off at 0.5, maybe a gram. Even if you took, listen, even if you someone who took 0.5 or a gram and you didn't feel nothing. Keep growing it like this, right? Don't fuck with magic mushroom. I'm telling you now. Don't be like, I took a gram, fuck this shit, I'm gonna take three grams. Go fuck with magic mushrooms. This shit will fuck you up. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. This is not something to play with. This is your life that we're talking about. We're talking about your life here. Yeah? We're not talking about going crazy and shit. Yeah, you might feel that way when you're on magic mushrooms sometimes. If you take a, a, a very big dose and, you know, you were unprepared and it spun you around like, a, like you were in a freaking uh, washing machine or something, a tumble dryer or bloody, uh, you, know, you know when you're at the beach? Yeah, you, you know when you're at the beach and you go into the beach, yeah, 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 and the waves are hitting, and everyone's like, woo, woo, and they're busy like that, and then a big wave comes and it's, and you wake up, and you're like, I'm out of here. So you wake up and you're like, That's what magic mushrooms will do to you. That's what DMT will do to you. That's what LSD will do to you. All right? I'm letting you know now. I always come through and I tell you guys my journeys, uh, my trip reports and stuff like that. You can go check that out if you want to. All right? I always come through and tell you my trip reports. I tell you all that, hey, shit got crazy. This is what happened. You know? But I don't let you guys know the depth of it, all right? I'm letting you guys know now. Magic mushrooms will fuck you up if you're not prepared for it, mentally prepared for it, all right? And the only way to know you're mentally prepared for it is to take it in steps. Don't jump in the deep end. Don't jump in the deep end. You're still learning how to swim, all right? Don't jump in the deep end, guys. <sighs> I'm trying to keep it light here as well. Because I don't want YouTube to be like, you take down this video. I'm trying to keep it light here. I don't want to go into the depth of darkness that it goes into on a trip. Right? I don't want to go into the depth of darkness that it goes into on a trip. I don't want to. I don't want to scare you guys into I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to shape your your trip. But magic mushrooms will fuck you up.
I'm letting you guys know. Grow with one strain. I'm letting you guys know. Number three, you got to be mentally prepared for it. Don't go in. Listen, magic mushrooms will help you with depression. But at a micro dose level, right? It will help you with depression at a micro dose level. So I'm talking about under the 0.5 level, right? So 0.5 under that. So 0.3s, 0.2s. That's what it's going to help you with. Your, your mood and stuff. Don't go jumping into three grams of magic mushrooms to get cured of your depression. It gonna fuck you up. All right? It's gonna it's gonna amplify. It's gonna freaking get you to do some crazy ass things. I'm letting you know now. This shit's real, guys. This shit is real. This shit is real. It's always good. Always good. You can leave all of these things out. You can throw all of these things out that I just mentioned now. If you got a sitter. Alright? It's always good to have a sitter. Like, it goes into some dark places. And I'm, I'm talking from my experience, right? I'm talking from my experience. I've been doing journeys for people for a while now, guys. You know, I'm not only saying, hey, this is my trip, this is my trip. That's because it's personal to me and I'm able to share with you guys, right? I can't share everyone else's trip because that's personal to them. But I'm letting you know now, it goes into some dark places. It goes into some dark places. And of course, it is it is the world that it should go into some dark places in order to get some dark stuff out, right? The only way to clean the dirty bucket is to put your hand in there, right? Or to spray it in there, to spray the clean water in there, but the clean water got to go into the dirty water. So in order for the magic, the, the magic to take place, in order for it to bring out those, 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 um, those scars, those traumas, those emotions, it, it has to go in there, right? So you got to go in there and you got to be mentally prepared to get yourself out of there. That's what you need to know. So sometimes if you're not mentally prepared to get yourself out of there, at least you got a sitter, at least you got a shaman, at least you got someone with you that will guide you through what you need to get through. This is what I do on my trips. If I feel like doing something crazy, I sit with it. I don't panic about it. I don't do the crazy. I don't, uh, I, I sit with it. I let it, I let it simmer a bit. What happens in, in, in Magic Mushroom Journeys is it does that, and it does that, and it does that, and it does that. It, and if you can sit with the, with the low for a little while, all of a sudden it goes up. I said this on, one, on some of my journeys. Sometimes I'm feeling scared and stuff, and then all of a sudden, a song will play. And I'll be like, whoa, I'm back, right? But if, I'm, if I stay in the scary feeling, in the dark, feel, dark place, and I don't allow myself to just let it be, I start panicking because of it. I'm going to do some crazy stuff. And it's good to have a sense to say, hey, hold up, boy. What you do? Where you going? Should we, where you, no, no. You stay here. I'm only going to take you to the loo and back. That's your, that's where you go. Nowhere else. You know, you have to have someone like that with you. You have to have someone like that with you. I normally just sit with it. I sit with it. Because I do my journeys alone. Yeah, I don't advise. Not recommended. But I do it so I can go through what I need to go through in order to know how to treat people when they're going through their journeys. And I'm letting you know now when you're going through your journey. Right? If these crazy things come up, you've got to be able to sit with it and not take action. Because one thing you've got to know, and 
And this is why we don't mix magic mushrooms with alcohol and weed and all of these things. I mean, if you're a freaking advanced player in the game, then I don't know because I'm not even that advanced. But from where I'm sitting, I wouldn't go and take weed while I'm on magic mushrooms. Then I don't know what's kicking. I don't know if it's the magic mushrooms with the weed or it's a mixture of both. Then I don't know if I'm here or not. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to end or if it's starting where I'm at. I don't want to take alcohol with it. Because if I take alcohol, I'll be drunk as shit. It's going to be splitting. Right? This is not a game, guys. This is not a game. This is your so-called human existence. That's what it is. You will do some crazy shit if you fuck with magic mushrooms. I'm trying to let you know how to go about using it properly. Educational purposes on YouTube. Because if you fuck with it, it's gonna fuck you up real bad. You need to know how to sit with it if you're feeling to do some crazy shit. Alright? You need to know that hey, I'm only on magic mushrooms right now. Nothing else. Because your mind will stop effing with you and say, hey, it's because of this, that, and that. And it's because of that, that, and that. And it's not going to end. And you're going to be like this. And you're going to go crazy. And da, 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 da. it's going to start doing shit like that. Right? But if you're on magic mushrooms alone, I can definitely tell you that that too shall pass. This too shall pass. Yeah? So if you're down there, it's going to pass. So all you need to do is sit with it. Say it. Oh, you're telling me to do that. Oh, I see it. I'm a bit scared right now. I can feel it. It's dark right now. <sighs> I'm going to focus on my breath. That's why it's good to have a meditational background when you go into the shit because meditation can get you out of some crazy places. You don't have to be a freaking advanced meditationer, practitioner. You just got to know how to say, oh, I'm not thinking about that. I'm going to bring myself back to my breath. Right? So sit with it and it will pass. Goes into some dark places, guys. It's amazing to have a sitter with you. Amazing. Number four. I think that's number four. Amazing to have a sitter with you, a shaman with you. It is of the most importance for you to be in the right set and setting. I know you watch videos and they're like, ah, oh, set and setting. Ooh, set and setting, right? Oh, that's important, yeah. Play some good music, blah, 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 blah. Light some incense and stuff. Know where you're at. Right? Setting, setting is important. I'm just, I'm just going to mention some shit. And when I mention this, this stuff, it's going to get you to understand what I'm saying without saying it. Know where you are. Set and setting. Don't be on the 15th floor of your building. Don't be... Man, I hope you're getting this. I'm not going to say much because I don't want to say much. I want this video to stay up. Don't be on the 15th floor of your building. Set and setting is important. Don't be out in the city. Set and setting is important. Right? If you're out in the freaking jungle or bloody park or the beach or anywhere outdoors, 
have someone with you. Man, have someone with you. Certain settings important. Don't fuck with magic mushrooms, y'all. Don't fuck with DMT, y'all. Don't fuck with LSD, y'all. I'm telling you now. This should help you out of depression at low doses. If you if you're feeling depressed and you're feeling like, you know, you sad and stuff all the time and you know you want something to help you and you heard about magic mushrooms and it helps with that thing, then do microdosing. You can buy you can get microdosing capsules two point a zero point two, zero point three and take it every second day because you don't want to build a tolerance in your body, right? So you take it the first day, you leave one day or two days and then you take it the second day, I mean the third day and then you leave one or two days and take it that's how you do it. Right? And it keeps your mood right, keeps your mindset right, it keeps you from thinking any negative thoughts, any dark thoughts. That's amazing, you know. But you don't want to be taking it at a high dose for that. All right? Unless you get all of these things in order. Letting you go down. So I normally just say, this too shall pass. And I know in my mind, in the back of my mind, as much as when you're on a high dose of magic mushrooms, like maybe you on a dose of 2.5 upwards, right? So 2.5 is you're getting into it now. It's getting dangerous, guys. Fuck it. At 2 grams, it's getting dangerous, guys. I'm telling you now. I know when I'm on that, I'm going to blow my nose. The wind is going crazy up in here. So it's hot, it's cold, doing its own things. It's my nose too, it's funny. Blocking my nose. Okay, I know no matter what is going on, I tell myself that it's only gonna last for eight hours. It's only gonna last for maximum, and I, I haven't been here yet where it's this long, but maximum 10 hours, right? So all I need to do is sit with it. So I know I wanna do some crazy stuff now, and I know that that seems the most real to do, right? I know there's a fan blowing right now, and I wanna put my hand in the fan and hit my finger. Right? If you're watching this, you know who I'm talking about. I know. Yeah, I know I want to do that. Because that seems real. That seems like, oh shit, this is all just, um, it's, it's not real right now. All of this is not real right now, so it don't matter. I can put my hand in this, in this fan without a cap on it. It's just blowing, right? I can put my hand in it and I, I won't feel nothing because Guess what? I'm not even here right now. Okay. Okay. But I know I'm feeling to do that. But let me just sit with it. Let me just sit with it for a while. Let me just lay down for a while and focus on my breath for a while. I'll do that in 10 hours time. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm on the 10th floor right now and I'm thinking about some things. Let me just sit with it for a while. I'll do that in 10 hours time. I know I'm feeling like going outside right now and doing some things. Let me just sit with that for a while. I'll do that in 10 hours time. What's the time now? It's 11 o'clock. We just started our journey. What's the time now? It's 12 o'clock. It started kicking in. So I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. What's the time now? It's one o'clock. I'm going crazy right now. I want to do some crazy things right now. 
But I know I'll do this crazy thing at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, guys, you don't want to do those things anymore. Because now you started coming back. And you realize that shit, that fang gonna hurt my fingers. Oh shit, I can't. Ooh, lucky I didn't do that. Lucky I didn't do that. Because I'm still here right now. I'm st- I still gotta live this life right now. I still gotta be around these people right now. Ooh, lucky I didn't do that. Understand that you will go into some dark places. And understand that you gotta look after yourself. Oh God, I hope this video doesn't get taken down. You got to look after yourself. All right? For all those who are sensitive right now and feeling like taking down this video and feeling like, please don't because a lot of people need to know this. All right? As much as it's an amazing, amazing tool to navigate the spiritual dimensions, uh, your psyche, um, your emotions, your, your, your awakeness, as, as much as it's an amazing tool, we know it's an amazing tool. We know we get to see different dimensions, different places. We know we start unlocking things that we've been thinking about, things that we've been trying to figure out. We know that. We know that you get to go to different places and see beings and have conversations and come back and see your past neighbor, your family members and, and come back with messages. We know that these things are helpful tools. We know that you'll purge energy that is stagnant. We know that it'll help you with depression. It'll help you with mental illness. It'll help you with uh, with uh, addictions. It'll help you with all of these things. We know that. We know that it's powerful. Even in, I mean, I dropped the video on Magic Mushroom's non-duality. And we know that it'll help you understand that you are beyond everything. And you are one with all. And we know that cosmic, unconditional love that you feel when you are magic mushrooms and you feel it nowhere else. We know that. We know that it's powerful. Listen, we know that it is magical. That's why it's named magic mushrooms. We know. All I'm trying to all I'm trying to get you to understand that there is a danger to consume. There is a formality of caution that you gotta take before entering into this into this plane of existence of Psychedelics. So I'll say for the last time, magic mushrooms will fuck you up. If you think this is a game, if you think this is all fun, alright? If you're out there taking it around people who don't know what you're doing. And now you're, now you're acting the fool and they don't know how to help you because you did not tell them nothing. And there's no sitter, there's no no one. There's no one can even say, hey, come into the room. Hey, hey, come down, come down, come down. No, no, she's okay. She's okay. He's okay. He's okay. Don't worry, I've got it. Don't worry, he's okay. He just needs some time to rest and stuff. You know, he, he smoked a little bit of of a, you know, something. Okay. You gotta have something like that. You gotta have, you gotta be in the circus to lay. Walking on the tightrope. Knowing that underneath you there's a net. So once I, in a fall, Is a net to catch me. Right? Know that. Whew. I hope this video did you good. Alright? I hope you did this video did you good. And I hope you
you understand that it's a beautiful tool and if you just take it um, with these steps and, and tools and uh, uh, I mean uh, tips and, and guidance you you end up um, honing honing the skill of taking you know it's a, and and it's a very unpredictable tool as well and that's why you have to always have you know cautions and nets ready because it's a very un it's a very unpredictable tool you could you could take a gram today and in two weeks time take another gram of the same strain the same way you took it and it could do something different because no not man i don't know i think buddha said that a man cannot visit the same river twice like it can never be the same yeah it'll never be the same the journey will never be the same the lessons will never be the same got to be prepared for change all the time you got to be pre prepared for change all the time that's why you got to have a net at all times you have to have some things placed in order in order to know that hey if anything goes awry someone or you know something is in place where i'm safe Know that it'll pass, right? So sit with it. Sit with it. But understand that it is So, thank you guys for being here. Uh, happy journey, y'all. Happy tripping. Set it up. Set, it, set the place up. Set the place up. Beautiful place. Nothing dangerous around you. Beautiful music, incense burning, a sitter in the room or right outside your door. Proper measurements of your dose, knowing what you're taking, knowing that you've grown to take that dose. You've taken it step by step to that dose, same strain. And ready yourself for anything that comes up that be crazy that you are that you're able to be still and allow it to pass. Be still and allow yourself to feel it, let it arise, and know that that is not even you, right? That's not even you. That's not even you. That's the thing. We, we, we still, even when we on these psychedelics, we still um, identify with the thoughts. When the thoughts were never you, even right now, whatever you're thinking right now, whatever is coming into your mind right now, that is not you. That's the illusion of you. The thoughts are never you. So everybody is popping up while you're on the psychedelics, it might be amplified. So you gotta know, look at it, understand it, and say, that is not me. Oh, it's, it's saying do that. That's not me. I just gotta be still and know that I am God. Yeah. 
Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I don't normally drop videos on, on a day, like every week and stuff like that. But I'm trying to get back into that. Right? Uh, but I will drop important, powerful videos when I do drop. So it's always good to be subscribed, hit that bell icon so you don't miss out anything. And like, share. Uh, yeah, share. Share with anyone who's thinking of going down the path of psychedelics. Yeah? The one who said, ah, oh, hey. The one who said, hey, let's say shrooms on the weekend. Watch this first. Watch this first. Yeah? But I'm grateful, guys, for you guys being here. Just show me some love watching this till this, um, till the end. I mean, if you, if you got here, then uh, hit me with a, with a mush love in the comments, you know? Um, hit me with a mush love. Like, hey, mush love, man. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, I hope everything goes well. For whoever's watching this and whoever's uh, into this, um, I don't condone the use of any drugs, any illegal substance. Furthermore, it might be illegal in your country, so be aware of your laws and regulations. I know you've been going through some things. I know you've been going through some things. So you need a little mush in your life. I know you've been going through some things. Hey, then you need a little mush in your life. But yeah. You call to it, right? You call to it, you feel drawn to it, and it just aligns in the right ways for you to have it, right? So what else can you do? What is no one doing anything, right? So you end up doing it. But just do it with caution. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. You guys are amazing. I love you guys. I uh, appreciate you guys. Peace. Much love. Stay awake. Stay gone.